It's a Monday morning, and I'm stirring my coffee with chopsticks using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good Monday morning, a snowy morning outside here in Philadelphia. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. Let's get started, but first, coffee. Wow, I'm still hooked on that Ethiopian and Mexican Chiapas. It's working so well. I probably have another two days on that, and then I'll try something else. Had a long day yesterday, was at the Philadelphia Pen Show. Made a small documentary that I'm going to be editing. I probably pulled more footage than I originally had thought I was going to. And it could be a feature-length film, but I'm going to edit the heck out of it and try to keep it down to 60 minutes, and then I'll be offering it up. Getting into the life, the minds, the lifestyle, the world, of fountain pen people and the people at pen shows which I felt right at home. You'll see. Let's get started. Usually this show, for those that are new here, people say, where do you get your content from? My Twitter feed. What I I'm talking about this morning is yesterday's Twitter. So I multi-purpose all my content, and then we do a little bit of news as well. It's a variety show, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. If single women were not allowed to take selfies, you'd never see that Machu Picchu pic. And you wouldn't even know what Machu Picchu was. Comfortable in jeans and boots or a little black dress and heels. Are people getting all their lines from a common source? Name some others that you always see. Put your comments down below. I see that one all the time out in the dating world. I'm comfortable in jeans and boots or the little black dress and heels. That's got to be a female thing. You don't see guys saying... I'm comfortable in under armor and sweats and a tuxedo. It's funny. A lot of people at the Philly Pen Show recognized me from my channel. That was always fun and interesting. You don't realize how many people are watching you as you travel the world and I get it everywhere I go in the world. It's interesting. Some say, I recognized you from YouTube. They didn't say they liked me. <laughs> they just said they recognized me from YouTube. <laughs> Listen, to be liked by everybody, as they used to say, a friend of everybody is a friend of none. On social media and in content, you're not, your goal is not to please everybody. Your goal is to work your audience, give your audience what they want, and you polarize a little bit. Babies into running around, hanging with the crowd, putting your business in the street, talking out loud, saying you bought her this and that, and how much you done spent. I swear she must believe it's all heaven sent. Boz Skaggs. 1976. You don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. Keep that in mind. You might put a bumper sticker on a old Toyota Corolla, but you never put one on a Ferrari.
Shouldn't our refrigerators be the real medicine cabinet? I say give the ultimate penalty for human traffickers, the only true justice for this crime. Rescue the kids and the people who've been abducted and give them the ultimate penalty. Mercy and grace for the victims, swift ju judgment for the perpetrators and their overlords. I perfected single and content, but I'm not in any way MGTOW. I have zero compulsion to fill my time with another human being, a woman, <clears throat> companionship, or a body on the other side of the bed. There's no compulsion. Is there a desire? Sure, of course. But a compulsion? No. Compulsion leads to making bad choices. Only when you can enjoy your own company, solitude, and quietness, then you might be ready for another person. Key word is might be ready. The self-deception of being a transition person is this. You don't recognize that you're a transition person. The relationship will be temporary if you are the transition person. You will fall in love. You will, you will feel more for them than they feel for you. And they are so into it, leading you to believe it's true love. You will have great sex. And then, it will end. You are never seeing the true person if you date someone just out of a relationship or a marriage. It may feel good for you and you might mesh well, but they are still trying to figure things out, using you as a drug for stability. You don't want to admit that you're getting used. They will eventually split. There is an expiration date on that relationship. Heed the warning. Remove stress at any cost. If that means people, then so be it. Changing jobs? Do it. Even TV. Most TV watching, especially the state-sponsored news, has a negative effect on the body and the mind. Turn the TV off. Stress will kill you through disease or mental breakdown. Let's talk about some things in the news this morning. Look at a couple headlines. A passenger with a gun made it through TSA onto a Delta flight. That's interesting. And then alerts officials in Japan. He still has it. An Atlanta passenger. News is loading very slowly this morning. And this is out of Action News in Atlanta.
Channel 2 Action News has learned that a man carried a gun through the TSA checkpoint at Atlanta's airport and carried it all the way through to his destination in Tokyo. TSA confirmed the incident with ABC News, saying the man and his firearm made it through the checkpoint at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport on January 2nd, and he boarded the Delta flight to Tokyo International Airport. An airline source told ABC News the owner of the gun informed airline workers of what happened upon arrival in Japan. Delta confirmed to ABC News that the customer's disclosure alerted TSA. In a statement from the TSA, TSA has determined standard procedures were not followed and a passenger did in fact pass through a standard screening TSA checkpoint with a firearm at Atlanta International on January 2nd. The TSA will hold those res- responsible appropriately accountable. The current partial government shutdown had started about a week and a half before the incident. Yeah, okay. Like other airports across the country, they've seen an increase in call-outs since the shutdown started on December 22nd. Okay, relate everything to the shutdown. (coughs) Excuse me. It has since broken the record as the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. TSA confirmed that about 5% unscheduled absences on January 2nd. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the flu or bad weather, right? It's all government shutdown. The agency said... That was about the same amount of unscheduled absences on January 3rd, 2018, when no government shutdown was in place. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Everything does not have to lead every... Look, at I, I just went to the news, and I saw Trump this, Trump that, Trump... Just the whole... I'm like, you know what? All roads don't lead to Donald Trump. But the media, in its twisted obsession and derangement has to make everything about President Trump. Enough already. No wonder I turned the news off a long time ago. My stress absolutely, it didn't just minimize, it disappeared. See, I get hyped up just reading about it. That's why I turned the TV off. Which leads us to fake news. I talk with Marilyn Monroe on my Ouija board. A pretty woman's revelation that dead sex goddess Marilyn Monroe communicates with her through a Ouija board almost got her kicked out of her parents' home. Joanne Tressler, who lives in Sutton, South London with her parents and two brothers, said when British reporters discovered she talks to Marilyn through lengthy seances, she got into a heap of trouble. My family threatened to throw me out. They don't like the idea that I play with a Ouija board. The beautiful beautiful young aspiring rock star said she thinks Marilyn is her big sister reaching out to her about men, giving her advice about men. Joanne is working as a salad maker in a neighborhood restaurant to earn a living. I'm saving up my money, she confided to Weekly World News. Platinum blonde Marilyn, who tragically died from an August 4, 1962 drug overdose, secretly hated men despite, uh, despite her sex goddess image. Every time I speak to her, Marilyn makes it clear she doesn't like men. Joanne confided, she says, Joe, be careful. I love you. Don't let anyone ruin your life. You're too precious. She says things like, Joe, I love you. Please be good. Well, Joanne, 17, emphasizes that she is telling the truth, even though it embarrasses her parents. I'm not a stupid nut, she declared. If I had the chance to prove it to you in person, I would. Some versions of this story have made me look like I'm stupid. Joanne likes to consult the Ouija board with her brother, Stephen, 21, and her 19-year-old best friend, Paul Newberry. Since January, Joanne has held more than 22-hour seances speaking to Marilyn. I know it sounds weird, and people think I'm a crackpot. But I'm not. (laughs) Chihuahua flushed down the toilet and lives. A plumber plucks a two-pound pooch from the septic tank. That's an interesting story, but we'll save that for tomorrow. What are you doing in 2019 to make yourself unstuck?
just watching videos on YouTube, wasting time, entertaining yourself with prank videos, fart videos, TED Talk, useless TED Talks, useless information, intellectual BS from people with PhDs and doctorates, thinking that it's like a little bit higher because of a person's degrees. You probably are, aren't you? I know who your idols are. I know the people who you respect. Where has it gotten you? Where has it, what rabbit holes and paths has it take you, taken you down over the years? Or I should say in the past couple years. You're stuck. You're in a rut. Some ruts can last 10 and 20 years. It's time to get out of the rut. In relationships, logistically, you might need to move. Financially, you're stuck. And fear does paralyze. Fear can make you stuck. The only way to deal with that is to deal with it. Face it head on. You don't wish and hope for change. Wishing and hoping is not a strategy. You don't pray for guts and then get and then you get courage. You don't you, you know you know what you do? You get courage and guts and fortitude by doing it. It's not something that happens any other way. It's not connected to prayer. It's not connected to anything. It's connected to action. You moving forward in life has to do with the steps that you take. It has nothing to do... I know there's a lot of mindset people out there, and I'm probably going to piss off a lot of mindset people. It's all about mindset. It's all about action. Doing something. Moving the ball down the field, getting a little bit closer to your goal, which we no longer call goals. We call them a to-do list. Because 2019 is the year that you get unstuck. And 2020 is the year that you could make your first million. Finish your coffee. And I'll see you tomorrow.